12 dots, 30 degrees apart. Draw some lines on the wax paper. Put down your coils. And you line them up, 12 magnets. North, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. 12 magnets. Twelve magnets. We're gonna make an epoxy. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, make a wheel out of this with the epoxy. I'm gonna fill these magnets up. So I can attach it to my shack, right above my 12 magnets. It'll be a generator. This is part of the this uh, rotor with the 12 magnets is going to be powered by two two individual running Bedini pulse motors. One will dump its power into the other during each 90 degree shift in the rotor. When one pulse motor is triggered, the other is off. The other pulse motor is off. And the, you can see the diagram for that in the uh, energy loop, either the unipole or the monopole energy loop video on my channel. And you can also see you know, the, the earlier energy loop video explaining the concept of bouncing a DC pulse backwards and forwards between two batteries. Well, I'm using the Bedini circuit to do it, and two batteries, the only thing is, I'm going to put uh, only two magnets on my rotor. Okay. Uh, 80, 180 degrees apart, two drive magnets on this rotor. And the, uh, the, the running, the Bedini coils will be 90 degrees apart. So that, uh, well, if you do the math on that, you will understand that in that setup, only one Bedini coil bifather will be triggered at a time. So they won't be triggered at the same time. Do, doing this, I can drive this rotor with the magnets on there. Oh, you'll see it later. And just, just wanted to film this quickly. I'm getting ready to make the stator for that setup. I'm going to take some of this Vaseline and rub it around the inside rim of this 8 inch um, roof flashing circle that I made so that I can place it down in there and pour the epoxy in there. So, in this configuration, you have the coils on the stator. The arms of the coils are 30 degrees apart. There's a 30, 30 degree gap. Times three. What goes on here is when you have you have eight magnets and three coils, you put the magnets right here, magnet one, two, and you skip a space. 
magnet three, four, you skip a space. Magnet five, six, and you skip a space. Magnet seven, eight, and you skip a space. In this configuration, as you can see, one and eight, north and south, are landing over this club. When I turn it 30 degrees, which I just did, you can now see seven and six landing over the next coil. Turn it again 30 degrees. <clears throat> now magnets four and five and over this coil. And here you don't have two magnets it's, it's over here. So basically three phase. Two magnets here, 30 degrees, two magnets here, 30 degrees, two magnets here. So basically at all times there's there's a north and south over one of these magnets. So it goes pulse, 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 three phase, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. One more time, I'll turn it 30 degrees. Now you can see, again, magnets two and three are landing over this coil. Next, next uh, lineup of magnets will be over this coil. But right now, seven and eight are here. So you, you, you need one in here and here. But you got one here and here instead, so this coil's not getting activated. Turn it 30 degrees. And now you have magnet one and magnet eight over this coil. Turn it again 30 degrees. And you got magnet six and seven over this coil. You know? So only one coil is lining up with magnets at a time. That's how the three phase generator works. So this is a three coil, three phase, alternating current generator, three coils, eight magnets. Put your first two magnets 30 degrees apart, skip 30 degrees, and then your next two magnets. Continue, skip 30 degrees, and your next two magnets. And you will be set up perfectly for a three phase system with eight magnets and three coils. It took me a while to get this set up right. <clears throat> I finally got it though and I wanted to explain it to myself and to any, anybody else who <clears throat> is watching and, and gets this a three phase Nikola Tesla alternating current generator. The magnets are numbered, and the poles correspond on the same 30 degree line. Those are 30 degree separations, totaling out to um, uh, shit, what is it? nine, three times nine. <clears throat> no, three times. Twelve. Twelve. Let's see, got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve lines. All right, I think you guys got it.
So this is the three phase system. If you can see the two magnets, north and south, how they land over this coil. I'm going to turn it. You see the next two magnets do not land over the arms. Neither does this coil. If you look over here, those two magnets, see? They land over the arms of this coil. And so that means this coil gets pulsed next within the 360 degree turn. Keep turning. The next two magnets do not land over the two arms. But if you look over here, they do. Over here they do not. Over here, you can see they do. So I'm gonna spin it for you guys. You can see how it's going to see you watch. Alright, hold on. Pulse. 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 That's how you line it up. So there's eight magnets down there. They're 30 degrees apart. So 30 degrees spacing. And then you, you basically you have your arms of the coils are 60 degrees apart. That's a 30 degree right there, 30 degrees, 60. Pulse. So you basically put two magnets 30 degrees apart and you skip. 30 degrees apart, skip. 30 degrees apart, skip, uh, you know, 30 degrees blank, nothing. So you have one, two, one, two, three, four. You have four sections, 30, 30 degree marks where there is no magnet. And by placing the magnets like that, you can do eight magnets over three coils and get a three phase alternating generator. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. There you go. That's how it. That's how it works. Three coils, eight magnets. North, south, north, south. That's how it works, man. Okay. Three phase alternating generator, Nikola Tesla, as, as described by Nikola Tesla. I'm going to put a Bedini, two magnets, 180 degrees apart, two, and, uh, and two Bedini bifiler drive coils, 90 degrees apart, to drive this. I'm going to bounce energy loop the pulse from one battery to the other. When one magnet is triggering one coil, there would be no trigger on the other, so you don't burn out your transistors and you don't have to match your transistors either. And you can also, um, you know, independently adjust the current to each coil. Alright, 
over and out. Got myself a three phase home built. Um, that's a brass shaft, by the way, and a acrylic rotor, ceramic magnets, eight of them, two 30 degrees apart, skip a 30 degrees, another two 30 degrees apart, skip a 30 degrees, another two 30 degrees apart, skip a 30 degrees, and another two 30 degrees apart. That's eight magnets. Doing so will land a north and south course they're north and south all the way. We call the Tesla three-phase alternator. Just glue so far, hot glue. It's holding pretty well. Just needed it for top support. I'm going to put a drive coil here at 90 degrees. There will be a some strong neo magnets 180 degrees apart drive coil here and another drive coil here at 90 degrees so that when one coil is pulsing the other one is not they're going to alternate back and forth that way I can bounce the electron between two batteries using the Bedini SG uh, circuit as my model for this. This my I'm using Bedini Bifiler SG coils to drive this rotor in that method. Two coils, two transistors. When one's operational, the other one the other one is not. Backwards and forwards, as described in the energy loop video. You can go back to that video and that's when I first came up with the idea of using the Bedini circuit like that. Because I've seen others trying to do it using all kinds of complicated methods. And I knew there had to be a simpler way. And there is, using a rotor 90 degrees apart on your trigger. By positioning your two coils 90 degrees apart, having magnets 180 degrees apart, these two coils will be triggering separately in that, in that fashion. And you can drive this. We'll see what happens. Alright. Wish me luck. Like. Subscribe. And what's the other one? Comment. Yeah. Comment. Tell me what you think. Well, it's not done yet, so don't comment yet. Thank you.